So this is the fat tire cargo e-bike that I built because I don't want to own a car. So I take this to work at six miles. I wanted to build it up like a bike so that you couldn't tell it was an e-bike because I don't want to get a ticket or anything. So I put the rear hub motor and I hid that with the panniers, put the batteries in the bottom of the panniers, put the controller inside the trunk bag on a heat sink. So a lot of the electronics are hidden. That's a Design Logic DeFat cargo frame with 170 millimeter dropouts. It's, it's, this frame was built to run Surly Bud and Lou tires. And in the front, I have a Surly Moonlander fork. I powder coated those two steel parts matte black. And they're rolling Daryl rims. A lot of Surly parts Surly Mr. Whirly, Crank. That is a 46 tooth chain ring, Origin 8. I couldn't fit a 48 tooth on there. See right there, the 46 is about as big as I can fit. I tried to put a 48 tooth on there, but the frame got in the way. So those are 175 millimeter crank arms, Black Ops uh, downhill pedals, a Surly Spider 58 110, 100 millimeter bottom bracket, Here's a view of the other side, the Surly Mr. Whirly crank set with a 100 millimeter bottom bracket and 175 millimeter crank arms, downhill pedals, Black Ops, Nyla Pro 9 16th inch. You see the Avid BB7 160 millimeter rotor brakes there. And in the back, this prototype has a Crystal Light 4060, 40 millimeter wide motor. That motor's getting warm when I ride this bike because it's a heavy load with me on it. This is the rear. I have 12 gauge spokes in the rear. A DNP Epic 7 speed freewheel which fit with plenty of room. I was even able to line up the chain line there easily. That is a Crystal Light 4060 motor. I run 72 volts, 83.8 volts fully charged. Uh, this bike will pull like up to 80 amps. Uh, usually not more than like 45 when I'm cruising. Cruise like uh, less than 3,000 watts. Here's a brake rotor, which went on there pretty easily with no spacer. Did have to use some axle spacing washers. Hopefully you can see the torque arm there. It's hard to see. The torque arm is the metal part attached with zip ties. It uh, <clears throat> is a Grin Technologies torque arm that I modified by welding it at the right angle, welding some hot rolled steel on there so that it went up against the cargo frame tightly, and then I use a whole bunch of zip ties to get it on there really tight. So every time I change a flat, I have to uh, cut the zip ties, use more zip ties. So the panniers have the batteries in them. They're wrapped up in two inches of bubble wrap to prevent shock. Wrapped up in plastic tape a bunch of times to keep out the water. It's got the charging cord in there. That is an ABS box for lightweight. It's reinforced with aluminum um, rivets, grade 8 hardware. Here's a close-up view of the heat sink. It's uh, 3 16 aluminum. And it's got some thermal pads under there to transfer the heat from the controller to the heat sink to the frame so that the controller doesn't overheat. So what looks like a trunk bag is actually a controller housing. See it's mounted on the heat sink and I cut out the bottom of the trunk bag, made an ABS frame there, a lot of rivets. That is a Lee and Mark II controller, lots of power. Here it is as seen from the back. Hopefully it looks like a regular bike. No one knows it's an e-bike except for the fact that it's going kind of fast. Here's another view from the back. I used the controller heat sink mounting plate to mount my flashing rear tail light on. That rear tail light is removable and rechargeable. So if I go on a walk I can pop it off and put it on me so someone doesn't run me over. 
Here's my headlights. That's two Lumina 700s for 1400 lumens. I did not want to put my lights into my circuit with the motor because I want all that battery power for the motor. And plus these lights, I remove them when I work. I remove them sometimes like use the flashlight, remove them to recharge them. So this is my Cycloanalyst V3. I like it really well. I monitor my motor temperature. I use the uh, current power speed. This is my three-speed switch, three-speed switch over there on the left. First is uh, street legal, I never use it. Middle is like, you know, regular e-bike. I never use that either. I just always have it in the third speed, which is 120%. I call it insane mode. And that's where I always I ride my bike in the high speed. The green button is regen. And this red button turns the cycle analyst on and off. Here's my half twist throttle with some ESI chunky silicone grips. My seven speed trigger shifter, usually in high gear because I go, you know, fast on the street. I usually ride this on the street. It's my commuter bike. Here's my freewheel. It's a DNP Epic seven speed. Has an 11 tooth small cog, 32, 30 tooth low gear. You see my axle nut there. That black thing is a spacer to keep the pannier from hitting the derailleur when I'm going over bumps and stuff. Because you don't want their heavy pannier with 10 pounds of batteries slapping up against your derailleur. So I use that piece to keep the pannier away so the derailleur can work freely. Here's my torque arm. It's a powder coated Grintec stainless torque arm with some hot rolled seal welded on top so it'll fit against the frame. As you can see I've mounted with zip ties which holds it on there very securely. There's a lot of zip ties but every time I change a flat I have to cut the zip ties off. But the zip ties do do a great job holding it on there because I do not want my uh, axle to damage my frame. This is a view of the rear action there. Not too crowded on the 40 millimeter motor. Lots of room for a nice wide freewheel. Um, the axle was wide enough for the axle nut. Here I tried to clean up the wiring. There's a lot of wiring to be cleaned up, so hopefully that looks like a bike. I don't think it does. Here you see the headset and the headset spacers. That's a Cane Creek 40 headset. This is a 40 millimeter head tube. I use some flexible conduit to clean up the wiring a little. See my water bottle cage is there. Here's a view from the back. Not much to see. Those are rolling Darrell rims. Here's a view from the front has an adjustable headset which I totally hate. These things are totally dangerous. One time it came loose and almost got run over by a bus. Very scary. This is the last adjustable stem I'll ever use. These are Avid BB7 brakes with 160 millimeter rotors. In the front I run 14 gauge spokes. That's in Surly Ultra New front hub. There's another view of the rear. The motor that's too small for the application. Here's another view. So that's my fat tire cargo commuter e bike.